What is up guys, my name is Spider-Man, Spider-Man, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to make your O's thicker, make your vapor more dense, version 2. These are my tank users right here, for all you tank users out here, you're going to want to listen to this section, and then over here is my RDA section, my RTA section, my rebuildable guys, everyone that likes to build their own coils and mess around and tinker with their shit, that's you guys right here. I'm gonna start with the tank users because it's pretty damn basic on how to increase your density. For everyone saying that my O's are thicker than yours are, that may have to do with the lighting that I have. I have a ring light here if you guys can see in my glasses, and I have an LED bar here and I have a softbox light on top of me. What's happening with that is the light is reflecting off the vapor and it's appearing to you guys as a lot thicker than probably what you're doing if you're in the dark. For everyone that likes to record for Instagram, Snapchat, Musical.ly, whatever you guys like to do and you guys are recording trying to get some sick ass tricks or some cool ass clouds, lighting is a big, big thing. If you guys want to make your clouds or your vapor or your O's more visually pleasing, add a little bit of light to that and it's going to look a lot nicer i guarantee it for my tank users guys my tank users okay my fellow tank users you want to know how to get thicker o's you want to know how to get more density you want to know all about that so you got two tips on how to get thicker vapor production okay now with tanks as you know they're probably replacement coil heads and that sucker and you can't do anything change the coil you can't do anything with the con it's just pre-built that's cool guys so there's two tips here's the first one it's always about your juice it always comes down to your juice guys what vgpg ratio is your juice okay now most juices uh, some juices have it written on the side, uh, some of juices do not have it written on it at all. Do not worry though, if you type the name of your juice on Google, then it will, for the most part, tell you the VGPG ratio of your juice. Optimal range for VGPG ratio, you want a higher VG based juice than a PG based juice. PG is for containing flavor, VG is for the vapor density okay the higher the vg of the juice the more cloud production you're gonna get hypothetically speaking so you don't want to go too high with your vg because mind you you still want to taste that sweet sweet good flavor so i would typically stay like a 70 30 or like an 80 20 um i don't really do a lot of 100 vg setups and less i'm at a cloud competition you're not trying to taste the flavor you're trying to just blow that fat cloud. All my juices that I vape for you guys, or I test for you guys, are majority speaking around a 70, 30, or an 80, 20. Second tip, okay? A lot of you guys are vaping um, from your tanks, the airflow all the way open, okay? And I see this a lot. What you wanna do with your airflow is you do not wanna keep it all the way open. If it's too open, it's going, you're gonna be bringing too much air from the outside, you're gonna be mixing it in with that vapor, and then it's gonna kinda of dissipate it. So when you're blowing it out, it's gonna be a mix of air and vapor, and it's gonna be kinda of like a, it's gonna be a big cloud, but it's not gonna be thick. Take your airflow ring, or whatever have you on your tank, and either quarter that off, so now you're only exposing 75% of that airflow hole, or completely half it off so it's 50-50. For me, it works a thousand times better than vaping it all the way open. I highly recommend you guys do that. That's quick, two easy tips with tank users to increase your density. Move off to my RDA guys, all my brethren that like to tinker with their shit. With you guys, it's gonna be somewhat the same as with the tank users, like I said before, but a few differences. So. With the coils that you're making, you want to have surface area, guys. Surface area. You want your coils to cover as much cotton space as possible. If you cover too much, your ohms might be a little too high and your mod might, might not be able to fire it. So you want to keep it to a medium-ish range. I, I know a lot of cloud chasers and they tend to get in this weird loop of sticking to five or six wraps. Six wraps is like the the most used coil wrap for cloud chasing if it's like 22 gauge cloud competition they're doing like a four wrap or a six wrap and that's it the issue with the six wrap is for cloud competitions the majority of 
cloud computation is what I'm talking about is you're using something like this you're using a mech mod okay now a mech mod there's no variable voltage there's no variable wattage it's just unregulated mechanical mod you got a simple switch and you're just completing the circuit with the battery battery to the atomizer that's it this happens to be a limitless with you guys yes with mechanical mods you want to keep your ramp up time fairly quick and also have good density and a six wrap for that works pretty well um, like a 2.5 or a 3 millimeter drill bit for that six wrap that works fine but for you guys using variable voltage variable wattage box mods something that can crank up the power usually using about two batteries one battery sometimes two batteries this is what you guys want to do you guys want to have at least seven to ten wraps on your coils okay seven to ten wraps and i like to stay between the gauges of 22 to about 26 gauge okay stay in that range the wire that i use most is 22 and 24 gauges so if you guys want to do that that's awesome with you that's all up to you guys i usually stick with 22 24 gauge and i do about a 8 or a 10 wrap on most of my coils if i really want to have some good vapor production i'm going to use these three different types of coils okay i'm going to use alien claptons i'm going to use either dual parallel coils or I'm going to use flat coils, which is basically you have a uh, 20 gauge or 22 and they hammer it down and then you wrap that. That is really good surface area as well. Those are what I typically use for surface area on your cotton. The more surface area, the more juice in the cotton is being used. Uh, the issue with six and four wraps is that you're getting good wrap up time like I said before but what's happening is you're burning all that juice in the center and now you're waiting for the juice to come and flow back underneath the coil that can take time and sometimes you can get a dry hit if you're pulling too slow with the 8 to 10 wrap you have a lot more coverage on that cotton and you're going to use almost all the juice in the cotton so that's a good plus now besides coils we're going to go with airflow okay so airflow like i said before with the tank users you don't want to use your rda your rta with max airflow all the way open okay it's too dissipated it's not going to work the way you think it's going to work what you need to do is half airflow or 75 percent airflow and that works amazingly well try it out guys for yourselves try doing 100 percent airflow see what your clouds look like or your vapor just blow a cloud see what it looks like and then half off the airflow try it out and then kind of find that good medium point on how much airflow you need to be easy to breathe in but also have that good density coming out third thing okay you don't want to push too much power your device if you have a variable voltage or a variable wattage box monitor you're watching me you guys you don't want to push um, too much power okay if you push too much power and you're taking a full five uh, five second inhale by the time you get to four or five seconds you're gonna be inhaling burnt cotton or dry cotton or just burnt flavored it, it's gonna be mad it's gonna be really nasty okay what you want to do is find a good medium point every coil every resistance for these coils has an optimal range that you need to find okay for instance okay I'm using alien Clapton's I don't know if you guys can see this at all right here, okay? I'm using Alien Clapton's and my Coilart RTA, okay? The ohm is 0.33 as my resistance. I'm firing it at roughly 5.8 volts, and I'm pushing it at 100 watts. So with a 0.3 ohm coil, I typically stay between the ranges of 70 watts to 120 watts. That's kind of like my range. I do not go past 120 watts because I know that the coil is going to heat up too fast, the cotton isn't going to absorb enough juice to replenish itself by the time it's heating up that hot and then I'm going to start burning my cotton. If I, if I use too low of a voltage or too low of a wattage, what's going to happen is I'm going to be taking a rip on that for the next 15 years by the time I get a cloud, okay? So you want to find a good medium point. I've, I've typically seen and with use 0.2 ohm coils, I can push it at 60 to... Uh, 90 so this is 100 watts right here and it's good right there I like that a lot that's basically it with those three tips you get the fourth last one which is VG obviously guys like I said before with the tank users you want to use a high VG based ratio of juice 
70 30 80 20 if you guys want to have serious cloud production 100 percent vg but you're not going to have that good flavor it's going to be kind of like mildly sweet not a lot of flavor going on there anyway guys those are the tips i can give you that's basically all you can do i mean except for the fact of inhale exhale techniques i already have a video for that from a while back ago which still applies to to now but those are the basic tips on how to get tank and rebuildable guys your vapor density necessities you know so i hope you guys enjoy the video like always i hope you guys have a great night or day peace out